controversy, not just at the head coaching position, the offensive coordinating position. Breaking news just announced Nathaniel Hackett will no longer be calling plays. But currently the drama, the chaos in New York, Robert Sala is gone. Aaron Rodgers finally spoke yesterday about the firing. Take a listen. What do you say? As far as any of the ridiculous allegations out there, I'm not going to spend more than uh, one sentence uh, in response to it, and that is that I, I resent any of those accusations because they're patently false. And, and uh, it's interesting the amount of power that people think that I have, um, uh, which I don't. But um, I love Robert, and uh, it was, um, you know, one of those days yesterday. James Jones, you played with Aaron Rodgers, so you know. Oh, I don't like going first on this. What he talking about. First of all, he said he was going to say one sentence. He said five. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just start it there. Hey, James, he loves us, don't he, though? He, he loves these interviews, don't he? Chase, there's a lot of times you say you ain't going to talk long, and you talk long. You can't just be breaking down. You can't just be breaking down, my dog, like that. And you, my guy. I didn't say it one second. I didn't say it one second. No, what did he say? He going to tell him. Then he going to say, after I said all that, let me go to the big four again. Yeah, you right about that one. I'm just saying, man. You know what? It's you a quarterback thing. That's all I'm saying, It's a quarterback man. thing. Uh, quarterback thing. Can, can, can I hear what you say just because I want to hear what you got to say, because nah, you had man. a problem with the hey, one second. Acho, quarterback. Nah. You <laughs> man. You, not me. I've been telling you all this whole time, it ain't my dog, man. This was the owner's decision, man. I, why are we blind to the fact, Acho? Uh, I want to hear you. I want to know, why are we blind to the fact? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he wants to react. Let me remind you at home, let me remind myself, and let me remind the people next to me just how much power Aaron Rodgers has. Before Aaron Rodgers was even a part of the New York Jets franchise, he had power. Because in January 26th of 23, Nathaniel Hackett, Aaron Rodgers' offensive coordinator with the Green Bay Packers, got hired to the New York Jets. But why would you hire a atrocious head coach and even offensive mind? Because remember the abysmal offensive output that Nathaniel Hackett had with the Broncos. Then March 7th, the owner of the Jets, in all of his busyness, flew on his private jet from New York to California to meet with Aaron Rodgers. Then in March and in April, Aaron Rodgers' former teammates Alan Lazard and Tim Boyle got acquired by the New York Jets. Then April 26th of 23, the Jets officially acquire Aaron Rodgers. So imagine, before the Jets even acquired Aaron Rodgers, before he even donned the Jet logo, they were already moving furniture around in the building to get him there. By May 3rd, they acquire Randall Cobb, a player who would not have played in the NFL that season and has not played another NFL snap, a friend of mine, a friend of James Jones. They acquire Randall Cobb for Aaron Rodgers. And June 6th, now we cancel in practice because of Aaron Rodgers. A year before the Jets had minicamp, Aaron Rodgers shows up, they cancel minicamp. Then this year, they cancel another day of practice. Aaron Rodgers, before he even showed up, we were making us men's for him. It's like when a child hasn't been born yet and you start building the room expecting the child's arrival. You get the nursery ready, you get the blue and the pink colors ready, and the child ain't even walked on the earth yet. That's how the Jets treated Aaron Rodgers, James Jones. Mm -hmm. They already started to curate the room for the man before the man was even in the room. So yes, he had enough power to get Robert Sala fired because he had enough power to get Nathaniel Hackett hired. He had enough power to get Randall Cobb hired. Mm. He had enough power to get Al Lazard hired. He had enough power to get Tim Boyle hired. So duh, he had enough power to get Robert Sala fired. <clears throat> that was That's mic good. drop. It's good take. That? Mic drop. Great. It's good Great. take. Good take. I love your energy. <laughs> I, love I love all that. You're, you're talking to a You believe that, though. You're talking to a You believe it? You, you, Excellent. You, you good on TV. You know, um, <laughs> we like talking about, like, women on this show, like, girls and all. You always say shade of your girl in the analogies stands. All course, analogies, course. yes, right? So, like all right, here we go. go all right? So we all been here before, right? When you're trying to get a girl, you go all out. Yes. Right? If you really like all out, Shady, it's right? It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? I might be you on know? The side. Go ahead. So, though. all that stuff that you're saying, that's to go get this pretty girl that was Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna fly my jet, let her know I got Ooh. some money and all this type stuff. You know what I mean? Hey, bring all your friends. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got the thing. I got the thing. What? You didn't, did you get a call? No, I did. But, but that's how this is bring all your friends. You want Hackett? You want Randall? Right. You want right. this? Bring them all. Because this is how I do it. That's to get Aaron. Now you got Aaron and you like, Man, dang, she ain't really 
<laughs> what I thought she was, at least. That's, now you're being honest. At least the first couple months of this you thing. Honest, you know what I'm saying? He ain't been so that. I ain't finna listen to what she talking about no more. Hold on. This house going now. I ain't really in the chase no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and what I, like I mean that. by that is, like that. we're hearing a lot of stuff come out of there now, right? Robert Sala fired. All right, people saying it's Aaron Rodgers. Robert Sala, security taking him out of the building. Um, Nathaniel Hackett, right? We did we just hear what happened to him? Mm. What just happened to him, Demoted. Acho? Demoted. Demoted. Call him play Demoted. Demoted. Right? Demoted. So now oh, that's Aaron Rodgers, people though. That's we doing voice. all this for Aaron Rodgers. Nathaniel Hackett came over. So is Aaron Rodgers saying I don't want Nathaniel Hackett in there no more? Mm. All the stuff is aligning to where my dog is innocent. And the owner walked yes, past everybody yes, and he said, this is my decision because over the last four years as a head coach, you've been weak. Mm. Over the last four years, you ain't just been weak on the field. You've been weak how you've been running this thing. Too many of this little stuff, too many of these back pedals. You ain't really ran the franchise like I want to run the franchise. Then we come from London in front of all my people that I'm eating with and all that type of stuff. I'm playing against a first overall pick or whatever quarterback that I drafted and he outplayed the MVP Aaron Rodgers, and beat y'all. I'm upset. Oh. I don't need to talk to nobody. I'm going down here. It's it for you, dog. All the signs lead to this was an owner's decision because if it was an Aaron Rodgers decision, right, Nathaniel Hackett might be the head coach and we may be up here. Nathaniel Hackett will still be calling plays. I just text him right now. I got a couple red zones in me if you got that much power, <laughs> dog. You know what I'm saying? So we can't just keep putting this all on Aaron Rodgers, man. This was a Woody Johnson decision to get him out of there. It's all aligning to let y'all know that Aaron Rodgers ain't had nothing to do with this. And Chase, you can sit up here and say all you want. Well, he could have stopped it. I, I didn't don't even think, ask no, but I'm just I saying, didn't say that's nothing. What you, that's what you said yesterday. I don't think he could have. I think Woody Johnson had his mind made up after London of this is where the direction I'm going with the franchise, no matter what anybody says. You're passionate about it, right? I am. So you were really long-winded, but it was an excellent I appreciate So you can it. see me when I'm so passionate you, about quarterbacks. If, <clears> if you, if that's you, why. If you're touching me like that, you better be on my side. Don't <laughs> <laughs> get up here. So, um... I believe, Aaron Rodgers, that he didn't have a role in Salah's firing. I'm oh, waiting. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm waiting, because I just see what? my... Oh, go ahead. Oh, you see all these my notes. You see my notes. Okay, uh, but, but he could have saved him. How? He could have saved him in that conversation on Monday night with the owner. I guarantee you it got brought up. Tell me it wasn't brought up. It was absolutely talked about with Aaron Rodgers. If you do all that stuff you said, you are going to talk about if you should fire or not. And this is how I imagine it went down. It imagined, hey, I'm going to make a change. And Aaron's like, oh, oh okay. Like, he, he didn't go to bat for him. He told you that that didn't happen. He, he didn't go to bat for him. If he would have said, if he would have said, hey, you know what, let's, let's have patience Let's save him. Don't do it quite yet. Give us a few more weeks. Then I promise you Woody Johnson, after giving him all that stuff you said, would have said, all right, we'll get a couple more weeks. I'm not saying it's like guilty by association. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't go to bat for him, and you don't. if you don't have an opinion, you have an opinion, my guy. How do we know that he didn't go to bat for him on the phone? Hey, you should, what, what are you sure? That's a good point. Oh, yeah. because, no, we don't. We don't. It's, we don't. it's speculating. But, that's but this how, it, that's how I imagine... <sighs> Because he does have this power. If you're on the phone at 3 a.m., like you were saying, with an owner, you got an open line to him. I'm just imagining that's I how think, it went down. I, I think we're getting... He didn't save him. ...mixed up and uh, confused on having power and having respect. I think the respect part is like, okay, A-Rod, yo, you're the quarterback. We did all these fancy things to go get you. Now you're here. And you ain't been playing great, but we do respect you. You are Aaron Rodgers. Like, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is playing great, but I respect Aaron Rodgers. So no, it no. might be like, hey, <laughs> God bless you, brother. I, it might be like... Hey, Rod, yo, we're going to move in a different direction with Rob Basala, right? And I want you to be the first one to know it. Because he's the quarterback, and that's how it normally happens. I don't know if it's like, yo, don't fire him. I don't know if it's that type of conversation. And another thing is, I don't know how well y'all know billionaires, but I do know a lot of billionaires, and they do what they want. Mm -hmm. We joke about Jerry Jones, and because and, 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 he's because what the way he acts and what he does, but I think it's just out there in the open. But we don't know what Woody does behind closed doors. But I can tell you this, I think it's similar. It, 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 Woody might not be laying his private plane and, and helicopter on a, on a practice field. But I know one thing, hey, I'm, I'm embarrassed with the London, but the quarterback that I drafted years ago outplayed Aaron Rodgers. I'm angry. I'm pissed off. A-Rod, I thought he was getting his superstar player. We didn't get him. I go there. Yo, Robert, you fired. That can happen. That's realistic. So we got to just, I guess, get understood that, like, there's a thing of respect 
And just think of, power. you know what I'm saying, the power. That's two different I things. I think the best thing, because I watched that interview just like we all did, I think the best thing that Aaron Rodgers said in that interview is, I could have saved his job by the way I play. Mm -hmm. I, that's what he said. Yep, yep. I did not play well, and it led to him getting fired. And that's where I want us to keep it. What, we don't know that's what the conversation point. was. Yep. Aaron Rodgers could have been on, man, don't fire him. We don't know. Our Aaron Rodgers